So congratulations, guys, setting the tone for October, if you will. Um, so after The Conjuring, there was so much buzz and so much talk about possible sequels and prequels and spin-offs, Annabelle obviously being mm -hmm. one of them. So when working on The Conjuring, did you guys have sequels and spin-offs and prequels in mind, or did it sort of just happen that way? Well, um, no, I mean, uh, as always, I usually like to focus on just the first movie first and then see what happens. Mm -hmm. If uh, that first movie does well and people want to see more story of it, uh, then great, then we would pursue more of it. And I feel like um, the world of Ed and Lorraine Warren mm -hmm. really lends itself to, uh, to you know, to all these different storylines. They've, they've investigated so many cases mm -hmm. and uh, in, in their lifetime, their career, and Annabelle was one of their m much more famous cases that mm -hmm. they've investigated, and, and it was one that actually um, really uh, affected me. Uh, and so uh, when we were designing um, The Conjuring, um, I knew that um, I wanted a co-opening at the start, and, uh, and Annabelle was my story to open it up with. And so when it came time for us to uh, do um, a spin-off of her story, it just, it, it just felt like it was the uh, natural thing to do. I think also uh, seeing her on the set, mm -hmm. like in that case, or when you know when Bathsheba had her in the, that rocking chair, <laughs> yeah. it, it was so creepy, okay. and and I it inspired thoughts. I would I would think about you know a story about her, but I don't think it was really predetermined at all. Yeah, no, but uh, but it was very clear on set that um, mm -hmm. she was very loved. She, like everyone loved right. this character exactly. off her, right. and uh, and everyone felt that. Uh, it was a natural thing for her to maybe have her own show. Yeah, even <laughs> audiences totally yes, loved people love Annabelle, her. Yes. were drawn to her. So speaking of Ed and Lorraine Warren, did you guys go see the doll um, in the case at their house or no? Well, when I, when I was working on the screen, script for, uh, for Annabelle, um, I was invited invited a bunch of times uh -huh. to go uh, to go down to the haunted basement, uh, the haunted museum. Uh, I refused to. Uh, I don't blame you. <laughs> I was too terrified, uh, uh -huh. believe it or not. I'm actually very superstitious, so I'm uh, like, you know what, that's okay. Uh, but Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga did. They did go there, you know, as research for the characters mm -hmm. that they were playing, and, uh, and Patrick did, did takes me a whole bunch of pictures uh -huh. of him with the doll. Did you go? No, I. You know, I never had the opportunity. But we were back east on Conjuring, in Wilmington. Um, I, I was. Just, I just arrived after that had all happened, and I, I. You know what? I wouldn't have a problem going down there personally, but I, I'm a little different than James. I. I think, and it, but and but I think the fact that James it does freak him out a bit is what helps to make him understand the audience so much. To be honestly, I'm not just saying it because you're sitting here, the master of horror in our time. <laughs> I believe that. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.